In this video, I am going to discuss about virtual storage. So let us start with the concept of virtual memory and why it is important in our system whenever it is required. Virtual storage or virtual memory, it was an extension of main memory provided through secondary storage. That is virtual memory is the additional feature in operating system. This is the general definition of virtual storage or virtual memory. Our computer has a finite or we can say fixed amount of RAM. It may be a 2 GB or 4 GB or 8 GB RAM. But whenever more than one programs or many programs are executed at the same time, it is possible to run out of memory. That is lost program or lost process can be in outside memory. Let us see one example. Suppose we are having three processes process 1, process 2 and process 3 and we are having the RAM of size 2 GB. Now we want to execute these three processes concurrently. So we need to load the three process into our memory. Now we are combining these three process and we need 3.5 GB of memory but we are one we are having only 2 GB of memory so this third process will not entirely loaded into our memory so here half portion of third process runs out of memory so this portion will not get memory we can say the space is not sufficient to the third process here the virtual memory concept comes in and increasing the available memory hard disk is used for additional memory or virtual memory now let us see how virtual memory works here half portion of third process not loaded in our main memory so virtual memory is increased available memory of our computer by enlarging the address space here virtual memory gives some amount of space to process 3 and it can be executed there. However, for additional memory allocation, it maps the address space to RAM. But hard disk is slower than the RAM. And we, we are having some of the points related to virtual memory. First of all, virtual memory has efficient process creation. So process creation is very efficient with related to the virtual memory concept and address space memory can be shared among number of processes that is the bigger advantage and one more thing only the part of the program will be in physical memory that is RAM so not the whole thing will be there so it is the advantage of virtual storage concept. So more programs will be executed concurrently that is the another advantage of virtual storage so these are the points related to virtual memory concept here one of the main disadvantage in virtual memory is if we use more virtual memory then the system will be slow let us now move on to the virtual storage management strategies here we have three types fit strategy placement strategy and replacement strategy first what is fit strategy it is the process of moving data from secondary memory to main memory so secondary memory is nothing but it is a hard disk and main memory is ram and fit strategy has two types demand fit and anticipatory fit so demand fit which means system places the next piece of program or data in main memory when running program references it so anticip anticipatory fetch which means attempt to load a piece of program or data into memory before it is referenced next placement strategy it is used to determine in which place incoming piece of program or data has to be placed it has three types first fit best fit and worst fit so first fit means an incoming job or program is allocated in the first free block. So best fit means an incoming job or program is smallest leftover block which fits more tightly and the smallest amount of unused space. 
Next, worst fit means largest leftover block that is which it fits worst that, that is largest possible hole. Next, replacement strategy. When memory is full, you want to accommodate a new program, the system must remove some of program or data that currently resides in memory. That is, this strategy determines which piece or which data to remove. Thank you.